Hello there. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build Raceworks Obsidian Farm, and I'm going to be showing you how to build the quad variant. If you're looking to build the more simple version, I will have a link to Ray's video, which has a link to a tutorial, which I'll, I should also probably link in the description there. So yeah, you can just look in the description of this video to see a tutorial for the simpler version. Okay, so for the complex one, you're going to start actually with uh, the overworld at your end portal here. Uh, didn't mean to do that, but yeah, I guess I can remove these. They don't need to be removed, by the way. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to place a temporary block there, and then you want to go down one and place a... Actually, this needs to be a dropper, sorry. Place a dropper facing downwards like that. Then what you want to do is you want to have a block there, and then a block, and then this pattern like so. And what you want to do now is you want to have repeaters all on two ticks of delay, going like that with uh, a lever on one of them. Then what you want to do is you want to uh, make sure that all this is in one chunk like this. And if it's in one chunk, all you got to do is place in uh, basically your hoppers or a hopper like this and then get a chest filled with items. This one has netherrack in it. And in the same chunk, just continue along like this with just a bunch of items. And this should keep the farm going for quite some time. You can use whatever item you want. Uh, the easiest would be something that stacks to 64 because, well, yeah, you can fit a lot of items in that. Um, whoops. And yeah, you just want to continue doing that. And yeah, so... That's that. I mean, you don't have to make it this large. You can just make it up to here. It doesn't matter. But basically, when you turn this on, uh, what's going to happen is this here is going to dispense items into there, right? I'm just going to cover this up a little bit. I'd recommend you do the same, leaving, you know, space to enter the portal at some area. Anyways, there you go. Do that, and then all you gotta do is turn that off, break that, and put that back. That's how you reset the clock. Okay, so anyways, that's how you build that section. Uh, so now I'm gonna get into materials. Uh, it will actually include everything for this as well as a nether loader, um, which I'm not gonna be showing you how to build in this video. I'm gonna do a separate video on that just because it can be used for a lot of other things. So yeah, this is everything required to make the farm work, um, apart from the obsidian needed for the nether portals. But yeah, just have a quick look at all that and I'd let you go ahead and gather those materials. You're probably gonna want more than these in case mistakes are made. Um, yeah, this farm is quite finicky, so you're gonna need to yeah, definitely be careful when you build this. Anyways, I'm not gonna be using these actual blocks because I'm gonna be doing it with different colors, so it's a bit simpler to see what's going on. But obviously you can use um, any block for this, any slabs for this. Uh, any types of fence gates, um, these have to be iron, and everything else is pretty much, you know, any type of wall, but everything else should be its own, you know, type. Obviously, any any color is fine, but yeah, so these are dispensers and these are droppers, so you're going to need 10 dispensers, 3 droppers. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. As you can see, we got the netherrack from actually the thing loading in there. Okay, so uh, from the nether island, I cleared out a large amount of the space here, but you're gonna probably wanna clear out a nice area to work around this and maybe make it so you can have some space below. Um, if you drop anything, you know, if yours actually loaded inside the island, maybe you could just dig out an area there. I'm gonna be doing it here in this void area because it's easier to see what's going on. Anyways, press F3 and G at the same time to get your chunk borders and you're gonna see that there's uh, two sides, one side with three and one side with two. You're going to take from the void side towards that side and you're going to destroy uh, to the last line there of obsidian like that. And then you're going to be left with this strip. Now you can turn chunk borders off now, but with the side that has three, you're going to get your soul sand. This is just to measure out. This is going to be temporary. You're going to remove this later. And you're going to measure out where your withers are going to go. So it's going to be like this. And it's going to be like that. So that is your wither section. So F3G, 
the one with three should have a full wither and then this side obviously has its full wither as well there should be in separate chunks though okay so now what you want to do is you want to get yourself a building block so i'm going to go ahead and get uh, some iron blocks so they're easy to count with okay so and then what you're going to do is from here you're going to do that okay and you're going to destroy these ones here and do the same pattern over here and then bring this all the way back around the back here okay so now go ahead and get yourself uh, dispensers oops that's not dispensers you're going to place those right there right there right there and right there and yeah what that's going to do is that's going to be dispensing the uh wither skull wither skeleton skull right onto the uh wither structure now it's pretty important that these structures are correct otherwise this isn't going to work uh yeah okay so now it's time that we bring this stuff down a little bit so you're actually going to bring this down two blocks on all of them okay now you're going to get some temporary blocks i'm going to use dirt because it's easy to discern as temporary and you're going to fill an area that is a six by six so one two three four five six one two three four five six okay pretty easy to do and yeah so now what we're going to do here is we're going to place in hoppers so go ahead and get yourself uh, hoppers here now this is actually a little bit um it's going to be kind of interesting how you how, how you do this because you can't have chests uh, here, right? So you need to have this open. Chests can be from here and on, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is, what I have found to be the easiest is to do a line of hoppers facing down there and a line of hoppers facing down here, like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do hoppers going into them like so. Right, and these, these hoppers are all gonna be coming from this direction, like that. Then this one you just surround with hoppers. Now I have a texture pack that shows the directions that these hoppers are actually pointing. So what I'm gonna do is remove all of this temporary stuff so we can get to building the more complicated patterns here. Okay, so that is the pattern of hoppers I am going with. You can do any type of pattern you wanna do. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is with your chests, uh, if I can get some right here, okay. You need to make sure that there's no chests occupying these two blocks, which are going to be the, uh, let's see, north of the farm or in other words, if you're facing from the islands, the, uh, the left side. Okay, there you go. So these, these are going to be my temporary storage. You can do whatever you want with your storage. Have it even go into droppers to drop even more items into water streams, into a huge storage system. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Um, but that's going to be so we can, you know, do the farm. Um, anyways, yeah. So now it's time that we do some interesting patterns here. <laughs> so you're gonna need to get yourself some walls. Uh, I'm just gonna use some stone brick walls and then you're gonna get some slabs. I will use some smooth stone slabs because they're easy to see. You're also gonna need some blocks as well. And yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to be placing, uh, you're gonna come to the center four here and you're going to place a block on the outside corner of the center four. You're gonna connect them together with walls. There we go. Then you're going to place walls on the corners like so, boom, 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 okay. All right, so to put in these slabs here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place uh, slabs from this corner going all the way across into the back corner here. And yeah, basically the way this is aligned is it's just gonna be here and then the obsidian Five by five isn't going to have any slabs below it uh, is the kind of the way that works okay so yeah now is actually when you can put back your uh, formations for the withers uh you can do this however you would like okay and yeah it should if you did this right end up so that you know you have the 
these guys lining up with the withers, you have the walls lining up, and you have the blocks lining up with the back feet there. Okay, and so now is also a good time to get in your uh, first eight skulls. So wither skeleton skull, and you're just gonna place them from the middle one to the middle one. Now do not, and I repeat this, do not put your skulls in these dispensers because they could get activated when you're doing the redstone, so don't want that. Okay, so now you're gonna get yourself some sticky pistons and you're going to go ahead and place sticky pistons along the side with these hoppers facing upwards and then place some blocks on top, okay? And so yeah, that is gonna be that. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and place uh, blocks here going all the way around on top here and yeah the way you're doing this right it's a six by six in the center and then seven by seven square okay and then bring it up one more block okay cool so now it's time to get in your water structures and also your uh stone structure so get some stone and this is how you're going to do this so you actually need to cover up above the heads here like so you also need to cover up this section here, like that. And you also basically are going to need to place blocks going around like that, okay? Press F3G and get these blocks in like so. Make sure it's in the section of three, okay? Okay, so now it's time to put in your water. You're also gonna need some temporary slabs for this. But yeah, just place in your water in every section here. Uh, so yeah, the water should flow down right there. And yeah, that water actually... Okay, so this water here actually needs to have stone block here because you cannot have any water in this section of the wither. So it needs to be right like so. And then yeah, make sure all the water here is filled in. And then again, fill the water in here. Get yourself a slab. And you're just going to go ahead and place slabs here. Uh, you don't need to place it just on the visible water sources like that. You're going to place water here and here, here and here. Uh, this is actually recorded later on, as you can see. And then what you're going to do is uh, destroy these once the water is in that's flowing. Just these slabs. And you should have something that looks like this. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to place slabs going across the top like this. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and get the chicken area things in. <laughs> so yeah, from here, what you're going to do is you're gonna count one, two, and then up one, and then at this block, you're going to destroy and place an ender chest. Do the same over here. Do the same on the other side the same pattern so one two three and destroy one two three and destroy there you go okay so now from this you're going to go three out one two three and you're going to place a slab i did not grab a slab let's go ahead and get that and a slab and that's going to be a lower slab make sure this is three blocks out and yeah so now what you're going to do is you're going to place another temporary block and you're going to place two Temporary block slabs like this, and you can create a structure like this. Solid blocks and place them like so. Temporary blocks here. Sticky pistons facing up like that with a carpet on top. And now what you're going to do is you're going to place a another temporary block here and fence gates. Same on this side. Then temporary block here and here and place your iron trap door against that. Now it's important you place that against a uh, temporary block because you're actually going to need the trap door to extend like so. Okay, now you're gonna place two slabs like that. And now you place a slab there. Then do a little shape like this. Do another shape back on this side as well. and carpets there and there, okay? That is that structure. All right, so next is the redstone. So you're gonna place four blocks just like so, and then coming out on the side towards the void, you're going to bring down a block, bring down another block, 
and then bring down a block here and a block here and what you're going to do now is you're going to guide these blocks into the pistons now you're going to get some redstone place it all the way up this thing like this like that and you're going to place one two three like so and you're going to do one two three repeaters set to full delay then you're going to go over and up one and this is going to have a torch on it but you're just going to for now leave that block like so and that is your redstone controlling for this thing so now it's time to get your chickens in so yeah a chicken in there and make sure it is named and then place a slab above there like so do the same over here uh, except for this one you're going to need some temporary blocks i'm just going to use that And there we are, we have one, two, three, four named chickens, and this is the uh, essentially this side. Now we, the other side is slightly different, so let's go ahead and do that one. So over here, you're gonna align the, whoops, <laughs> align the blocks here, actually. Now's a good time to place in some more blocks here. You're gonna need two blocks like that, and go in all the way around and do the same thing over here. Okay. So three blocks. And you're going to place two slabs. And then temporary block. Boom. Temporary block. Boom. And boom. Same thing going around like that. Same two pistons with carpets on top. Two slabs going down like that. Fence gates like that. Truck doors on the edge, so they flip inwards. Like that, and then two like so. Now this one is actually going to enter through a slightly different area here. What's going to happen is you're going to have the torch right here. So it's going to come into the same area and do your redstone like this. But instead your redstone is going to enter down here instead. And it's going to go in like that. So this is the side towards the island, by the way. It just comes down and then down, just kind of the same way, just the backwards, I guess. Uh, you're going to do something like that. Oops, it's actually going to go like that. And then on the side uh, towards the void, you're going to put a slab like that. Okay, so uh, yeah, basically we'll go ahead and run this one across here and bring it down. It should connect all up here, all the way over to there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is you're going to one, two, three, with your three repeaters set to full delay. This is going to have your redstone torch on it. And yeah, so essentially this one's slightly different than that one, as you can tell. This one also has the slab down here. And yeah, so now it's time that we actually uh, hook up this top section here into what we need to make it. So get yourself a torch. Place it there, and you should see the redstone do its action. These guys come up. Yep, that is that. Okay, so now go ahead and run redstone all the way along this thing here. And that is pretty much that. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty easy stuff. Okay, so now it's time to do a, another circuit. So let me get a new color. This is going to be the clock. And so essentially coming down from here where the slab is, you're going to come down one block, bring redstone down as well. You're going to have a sticky piston extended just like so with a slime block and an observer facing downwards like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and build your clock. So 
going out two like that and then up one over up one over two up one and over into there so from here you're going to have repeaters going here and then two here set to full delay one uh, under here that is going to be set to uh, one tick and then another two set to just one tick as well and you can go ahead and actually remove these here they're not required in the structure but what that does is when obviously when it's retracted nothing's going to happen when it's extended again it's going to power and start the clock and yeah this is going to be controlling some stuff uh, over at the for the snowballs so yeah nice and you know these corners aren't needed so you can do whatever you wish with them all right and then it might be uh, helpful to place uh, a button of any type on this one right here so endermen don't spawn on it uh, obviously these ones they can't spawn on because there's blocks but yeah that one they could okay so that is that uh, again gotta make sure you want you have your chickens in here actually so uh, I'm gonna do that right now Okay, so now we're going to do uh, the next circuit, which is going to power these uh, dispensers here. So blocks along here like so, and then bring them up into a pattern like that. There we go. We're going to run redstone dust all the way around like so. And that should power everything correctly. So yeah. Okay, so now it's time that we actually enter the pistons that are going to cover these things here up. So go ahead and get yourself a sticky piston. Place it there and there. Then get yourself a uh, block of some sort. I'm going to use uh, yellow here. Do that. Same on this side. And there we go. Okay, so now there's another circuit we got to do, which is the on-off circuit. So over here on this side with the green and this one, this weird, weird angle, make sure there's no temporary blocks. <laughs> Bring over here and go down to like so. You're going to have a comparator, a repeater, and two redstone dust like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a dropper facing upwards with a hopper facing into that with another dropper above that to reduce lag. Then you're going to come right here and you're going to put your on off switch power that so then put in 30 named items that is going to power all these pistons there we go okay and now what you're going to do is you're going to underneath this you're going to go down and place that with a piece of redstone dust and this is why you don't place in the skulls because when you place that they're going to power temporarily but nothing should happen because you didn't place in the skulls and that is your on off switch uh, so yeah Okay, so now it's time to get your snowball circuit in. So this is actually going to go happen here and here. There should be two, two, and two, just like that. And what you're going to do to place these in, I'm going to use white because white is the closest color to snow, so it's easy to discern. Dispenser and dispenser like that, okay? And then you can go ahead and with your slab cover that back up. And yeah, so let's actually do this side first. Um, yeah, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here like so, and then you're going to just bring this all the way down. Boom, boom, and then uh, when it's level with that, you're going to come down here and you're going to go over two. You're going to go come out under here and you're going to come across like this, and we can just leave that. And then this here is where you're going to power everything. That's where the redstone is going to enter. Gonna run that redstone all the way up here okay and then you're gonna come down like that and put a slab there and you're gonna run redstone up like that okay so now it's time to put in some hoppers and this is the easy way to do it uh, you can set up an AFK snow thing and just have the snow come into here however you want I have this chest full of snowballs ready um, just like that and so obviously they're full of snowballs and that will fill these dispensers 
And so yeah, they're going to be triggered by this uh, clock when it started. So then uh, you're going to come over to this side and be right under the last block here. Okay, and from here you're going to go up three blocks. One, two, three. Like that, and then you're going to go up another two. One, two. And then uh, on the second block you're going to come over like that. And then you're going to go up one. And so yeah, that's that one. And then from here you're going to do the same thing and destroy these blocks. Place in your dispensers there. Put your slabs back. And then, yeah, from here you're going to run redstone dust all the way down to meet up with that. Then on this one here, what you're going to do is just place a slab right there. Redstone dust like that. Okay, and then you're going to do the same storage situation over here. I guess that works. <laughs> and yeah, do something like that. This is uh, normally going to be a double chest, but I just, yeah. Okay. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and put in your boats. These are going to keep the withers in uh, the, <laughs> the cage here. So coming over from this side on the rightmost uh, section of this chest, place a wall, and you're going to place that in this pattern here. And do the same over here. There we go. Then over here, you're going to do a wall here. Here, 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 and here, 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 like that. Okay, and then you're going to get your boats, doesn't matter what type of boat it is. And you're going to just want to make sure that these guys are in there, right? Okay. And then I found the best way to place it is to do something like this. Put some extra walls above. Place your boat, and then row it back and forth. Get out. Destroy that, and then do the same thing right here and they should fall into formation like that then you can get rid of these there you can do the same thing over here Okay, and now you have your boats in. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to come over here. And you're going to want to place a slab. There, like so. Which is a top slab. Uh, that's important. And do that over here as well. There you go. Okay, so the last little part of this is you're going to come over here and you're going to place some slabs going along like that. Okay, it's a little important. Okay, <laughs> and with those slabs, that's pretty much the farm complete. So now what you want to do is get your wither skulls. And you're going to place them into the dispensers. Now before you do, I'm going to go over a few notes. So number one, you do not want to start this farm, um, you know, turn it on and go over there and then come in because you're going to end up with the withers, you're going to break it, everything's going to be bad. What you're going to want to do is have a friend um, log in and turn on the clock in the overworld for you. And all you got to do is flick that lever on the clock on and off, and that will do it for you. Obviously, you're also going to need to build a, some nether loaders, which I'm going to do in a separate video because they're so useful for other things as well. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and place you know one in each. All right, so uh, yeah, now it's time to just turn the farm on now. Like I said, you're going to want a friend to help you do this, uh, and you're going to have someone in the overworld turn on the, the, the loader, but after these guys do something. So first, let's go ahead and turn this on. There you go. You should see four withers. There we go. We see four. And they should do their explodey thing. And there we go. As you can see, they break the blocks above them. And there's a lot of explodey things. So now is when you, the, your friend turns on the uh, loader in the overworld. And that will start the farm in its entirety. 
So I'm going to actually go ahead and do that with an alt account. All right, so I have an alt account uh, up and running now. If, uh, yeah, basically, I'm just going to start the timer here. And yeah, I'm going to keep this loaded with my alt accounts. I'm going to switch over so you guys can see what's going on. And there you go. You can see the platform there being broken. If we go down here, we should see these things starting to fill up with some good old stuff here. There's obviously going to be a few things from the from the farm. I don't I don't know exactly, but you can see the uh, netherrack here, the obsidian filling up these chests. And yes, so <laughs> a few safety features with this farm. You're only gonna you're gonna want it want to run it for a very long time and then uh, basically you're not going to want to let it stop for a while because what will happen is it will break um, and yeah if I were you I'd go ahead and watch the entirety of Ray's works video he explains how to use the farm in a bit more depth and detail as he was the one who designed this farm link in the description uh, yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, if you're interested in the nether loader I'm going to be doing a separate tutorial on that Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Go ahead and get yourself infinite obsidian. Aw, oh, yeah.